Hey everybody, this is part two of my downscaling series videos, and today I'm going to be talking about the Extron Super Emotia. I found one on eBay for a really decent price after searching for a very long time, and I decided to scoop it up. It also came with the power brick, which is very important if you ever buy one of these. It needs to come with it. So what this box in particular does is it takes several resolutions, but in this case we're going to be talking about 480p, and it downscales it to either 480i or 240p. So if you look at the front, you'll see a few uh, switches and knobs. So the freeze button, it just captures the image on screen. There's a few switches here, underscan, overscan, PAL NTSC, interlace anti-flicker, which is pretty much 480i. And the one we're very concerned about, or care in this case, is a non interlace switch, which is the 240p option. You have a few centering knobs and uh, the input format. In this case, it'll be turned on uh, number three, which pretty much says it's taking in a 40p signal. Okay, and for today's video, I'm gonna be showing once again the PS3 outputting SCART running into the G-SCART switch. And this time, uh, I didn't have the right setup for my last video, but I meant to do it for that one as well as this one. So I'll be doing it for this one as well. Um, I'll be outputting two sources at the same time. So the first source is a SCART right there. SCART cable going into a passive adapter into the RGBS input of my BVM. And the second one is the VGA cable going into the Super Emotia, outputting as RGBS, going into the Extron RGB 203 RXI, and outputting from there as RGB going into another card on my BVM. Okay, so start this up. So as you can see, this is the image on 480p, right? Now, I'm going to be switching back and forth just for comparison's sake, but I'll show you right away what 480i or the 240p option looks like. So let me just switch this up first to interlaced. So here we have the 480p image, right? Okay. Now... Change the channel. And here we have the interlaced um, image. And you could see a little bit of the screen shaking. If you could see Sora's hair, it's a little vibrating a little bit, right? So, going down again, shows you, uh, where is that? Anti flicker. So, it does a little bit of a better job. Kind of, as you can see, Sora's hair isn't really shaking anymore, but you could see the uh, the scan lines for sure, right? But what we're really concerned about is the 240p option, which is the non interlace look. And there it is. Nothing shakes on the screen. Everything looks very crisp. You see the blanking lines and the scan lines look very thick. And yeah, this is a 480p image downscaled to 240p with the uh, Super Emotia. Now one thing I noticed about the BVM, uh, I don't know if 4x3 screens will pick this up per se, but I noticed on my BVM since, you know, it's 16x9 as you can see, um, the screen with the Super Emotia isn't full or as full as the 480p image on um, 
using the regular 480p you know RGBS input so I'll show you okay so I'm gonna keep my finger right here <laughs> I mean, there's no other way for me to do this, but um, my finger's the placeholder right here, right? I'm not gonna move it. It'll be right there, right? Okay. So now, see where my, uh, my screen is? It moved a little bit. And the same thing goes for this as well. It just gets, you know, a little slimmer, I guess. But the sacrifice of width for what you're seeing, it's totally worth it. Um, it's a full image vertically and horizontally, just a little bit of space loss, not a big deal. Okay. So what I'm going to show is a few games. I'll show Street Fighter 3 first. So, as you can see, the image looks really nice and clean, you know, very, very, very thin blanking lines, you know, to show the progressive scan image very clearly. Very nice looking, right? Okay, well now, let's take a look at this at uh, 240p. So you could definitely see some thick scan lines and blank lines as well. You can see it, right? Hmm. <laughs> Can't get too close sometimes. Okay. So that's... 240p uh, with uh, Street Fighter 3. Okay. Let me switch it back to 40p. Alright, so what I'm going to show now is. Um, I'll show X-Men, and there's a reason I'll show this. It's pretty cool. Alright, so, yeah, I'll be playing six players, because, uh, well, you'll see why. <laughs> That's interesting. It's the only way to play this game, honestly, even in the arcade. Okay. In the 21st century, evil mutants led by Magneto. Alright, so that's... Let's try, uh... Alright, 
gonna put this on pause for a sec. Uh, so yeah, you know, having a 16 by nine widescreen CRT lets me take advantage of this game. So let's turn that option on. Let me just get in here a little bit. As you can see, he looks pretty nice, right? Now let's see this game in 240p. Ooh, this guy got up. <laughs> Oop. Alright, let me just press pause. <laughs> Alright. There you go. So, let's just make this widescreen for now. And let's see it. So, let's see. pretty cool. I like that. Do I have another suit? No, I don't have another uh, special move. Let's see. So yeah, uh, 16 by 9 looks very, very nice, even with the scan lines on, as you guys can see. So I'll show you real quick in a still image. You know, I think if you wait too long, a bomb drops on you. Let's see. Something, something happens. I think. There you go. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know if this happens in the English version, but I have the ROM set as Japanese, so either way. Uh, yeah, so that's the Extron Super Emotia in action. It looks really, really nice. I think it's by far the most reliable and the most efficient way to get scan lines using a 480p image. Um, that's available, at least. Uh, They'll definitely be covering another converter soon, but for now, I really like how this looks. Everything looks really crisp. So, alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.